having treatment resistant depression is kind of like riding a roller coaster that goes in and out of places and upside down because you never know what the next day is going to have. You can be like, I can be like I am today, happy, happy, you know, all this. And tomorrow I won't want to get out of bed. Everything will bother me. And on those days, the world is grayer and darker to me. Everybody else sees the sun out. It's a bright, sunny day. I don't see that. To me, having the sun now is just an annoyance because it makes more light. I just want a dark, quiet room and I want whatever I can find that comforts me. When I get to the edge of the cliff, which is my analogy for my depression, if I'm on the edge, that means I'm suicidal. And I have been all the way on the edge twice. And I have made an attempt each time. And the reason it didn't work was my husband and my kids. They have been there to the first one to save me, the second one to stop me. And that's what you need. Someone who understands that you can't see options. That is your only option. My mental health has been affected by COVID and the pandemic in a very, it's been difficult. Like I have trouble with the words to say it because it's just, I've been more isolated and it's more, it's harder to stay up feeling good and happy when you can't even leave your house because you're one of the immunosuppressed people and you're not supposed to go out. Then in March, when I uh, got COVID and ended up in ICU for a week, that was the hardest thing that I have ever been through because you are scared, anxious, and no one can visit you. And all you can see of everybody is just the eyes. So you start feeling like it, that you're in this world and there's nothing else around there. And that makes it a lot harder to stay. This is a good day. I can do things. All you want to do is go to sleep and forget everything. The biggest thing that would have an impact on treating mental health and the issues that are around it is if we could get rid of the stigma that everybody has against it. I talk out because I know the more people know, the more they are accepting it. Advice for other people that are going through the treatment resistant depression is take it day by day. If that is too much, then take it hour by hour or minute by minute and just say, okay, this is a good hour. Okay, I feel good, I could do this. Now the hour's over, so we're gonna start over the hour and we're gonna do the same thing again. And also make sure that you see a psychiatrist and a therapist because those are what does the trick for you. My husband has been my biggest support. He says the right words and he knows what to do and he helps me move past it. He knows I have to go through it, not around it. He's an extraordinary individual, which is why he's an actual rocket scientist. <laughs>